Do you believe that the West sleepwalked into this crisis? And by the West, I, I mean the main players in Europe, in Western Europe, like France, like Germany, like the United States. I do. And I think that still today, they're trying to neglect the reality. Putin is unstoppable if we will not stop him. And, and to try to delay and push uh, the problems and wait, maybe something changes. Uh, he sees our weaknesses. And today, the side who is avoiding to enter into the war is the weak side. And that's exactly the West is in this situation. And Putin sees that and knows it. It's, it's for us a surprise uh, that Putin's army is not as strong as we thought. Putin's army is demotivated. And that's exactly the background for us to be more, yeah. uh, more offensive and more engaging into military support to Ukraine. Because Putin is uh, capable to be stopped in Ukraine and we need to do it. The Western response, as you say, um, should that worry Eastern European countries that are a part of the NATO alliance, like Lithuania? Yes, of course, because as I said, uh, response is uh, quite weak. It demonstrated uh, very clearly that the West is afraid to engage with Russia on military uh, scene, and uh, and Putin knows it. And Putin was already mad enough uh, to uh, to engage and to attack and to be aggressive towards everybody because he said he's he ha he's in the corner, and he has no other choice. But we have the choice. We have the choice to choose between shame and war. Yeah. And we know what Churchill said. If we will not choose to fight, we will have shame and war. Yeah. We've seen eight days of this conflict. It's been all over social media, all over TVs, globally. The eyes of the world are on Ukraine. But what is the realistic assessment, in your view, of A, how long this conflict can hold the public interest, and B, what the Ukrainians realistically can do to keep Vladimir Putin from taking over their country, given the fact that the West has only sent them weapons? We send the weapons, but not enough and too late. And uh, we still uh, could uh, send more efficient uh, weapons. And we need to do this. Uh, and I think this war, uh, no matter how long uh, the military actions will take place, but the implications to the world already unrestable and we are in new reality absolutely all around Europe and in the world and the weaker West will respond the longer and more painful it will be also to the West so why it is important to be uh, fast in reaction to be strong in our reaction and to be very serious in supporting our partner NATO partner it's not just member, of course, but Ukraine is NATO partner, and we're letting them down today.